here's a quick run through on how to create an extract. There are seven different types of reports currently. Uh, more can be created. Um, but the first step is to select one of them. Customer info. Then we have to select a time frame that we want to use for our report. In this case, uh, let's go back to 1 1 2020. Um, we could also use this little thing here, but if we're going back in time, it's you know it's probably easier to just type it in. And then ending date. And then we select which cabins we want to include in our report. And I'll just select both of them in this case. Then we hit preview extract. And there's a listing of our customers uh, showing their contact information, the total rent that they paid, um, whether there was any uncollected rent, which means like they're deadbeats, <laughs> um, check balanced or whatever. Uh, hopefully we won't actually see any of those. Um, this is all fake data, bear in mind. Um, the number of stays that they had during this time period. <clears throat> so they're listed in order of the amount of rent they paid. You know, if we want to send a Christmas card to <laughs> uh, repeat customers, we, we could do that. Um, other reports, to look at another report, we could just leave these two settings as they are and just hit another report and do preview extract. This shows that there are two customers that um, forfeited their deposit. It shows the uh, manager's share and the owner's share of those deposit amounts sales tax and lodging tax amounts of those. Um, if you want to look at occupancy, we can see the nights rented, the occupants per rented night, total occupant nights, which is what your assessments are based on, um, and the percent of calendar nights rented, which is an occupancy rate. Um, reservations is basically the whole kahuna. It's everything that's in the system. Um, I won't go through all this stuff, but if you really want all the detail on reservations, you can get it there. Revenues and taxes detail uh, shows you um, for each customer here the total charge, the uh, pre-tax charge, the pre-tax payment, the owner's share, the manager's share, whether there's an uncollected amount, again, the, uh, like a bounce check or something, the collected taxes and uh, whether or not for deposit was forfeited. And we can look at this in a rolled up version here without looking at each line, which just gives a summary for each cabin. And there's also a sales taxes report, which could be useful for management if you just wanted to. Um, look at how much taxes are, are due. So, um, We've seen now how to uh, how to look at the data. We can also pull it out um, by hitting Extract Data. And when I did that, it created an HTML uh, kind of a spreadsheet formatted HTML file, which goes to our um, download downloads folder. And if we click on that, we see what that looks like. Now. Um, so this is not actually a spreadsheet, it's just a HTML and looks like a spreadsheet. If we wanted to bring it into a spreadsheet, we need to open up a spreadsheet. Um, let's launch Excel here. And we'll pick open file, we'll get uh, folders, uh, our downloads folder. We want to look at this by uh, most recent one, click on it, and there it is in a spreadsheet where it can be modified or um, worked with however you'd like. So that's the way it works. Enjoy it.